One tool for stopping the next pandemic could be in our sewage. You heard that right. The official name is wastewater surveillance, and it's an effective way to spot early cases before they turn into outbreaks. Now, it's not a new concept. Finding traces of viruses and bacteria in wastewater has been used for decades to detect the early spread of diseases like cholera and polio. More recently, it's been used to track illicit drug use, the common flu, even help determine cancer rates. Well, now it's taken on a whole new significance with COVID-19. And here's why. The virus that causes COVID can show up in fecal matter up to a week before someone has symptoms. That could be way before people even decide to get tested. And it's really sensitive. Why? Because it can pick up the smallest amount of virus in wastewater systems by testing for the virus's genetic material. Now that sort of information could give hospitals extra time to prepare, could give individuals a heads up to take precautions. Plus, monitoring wastewater is a lot less expensive than doing thousands of individual COVID tests. Here's how it works. Samples get collected from a sewer manhole or a wastewater treatment plant. Debris is removed and the sample is then concentrated and sent to a lab for testing. It is so precise that they can even pinpoint what specific variants are starting to circulate in the community. That's how officials first spotted the Omicron variant in California and Texas, even before people started to test positive for the variant themselves. And as people are testing less and less often, this tool is gonna to become increasingly useful. This sort of wastewater surveillance isn't being used everywhere yet, but the network of CDC surveillance sites are now in at least 40 states, and it's starting to expand even further. The ultimate goal, to help build a better picture of how the coronavirus is spreading around the country. Think of it as an early warning system, always operating in the background.